Well, we're back at uh, Potato Island. I'm going to set this camera up. Should be good. Just gonna cruise around and uh, surface temp is 65 Fahrenheit. We're in about 66 feet of water. in here they were in about 50 so a couple of trout on the screen it's funny with the live scope you can see them come in like 60 feet away there's a fish there no nope, doesn't want it it's just littered down there okay Okay, I need to show you guys this. <laughs> Look at one, two, three, four, five, six fish. That's my bait right there. Those are all Lakers. <laughs> I might have to make a smaller presentation. I had a hit just as I started going. There we go. There's, there's one there, he's not, uh, not too big, I don't think. Just gonna loosen that off a bit there. Again, I don't wanna horse these guys. They just, they seem to come off so often. The barbless hook is not a friend. And he's off. Okay. Holy crap. He broke my hook right off. I don't even know how that happened. Okay. Well, that's silly. That's very silly. I don't even know how that happens. Try this again. Tap. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's a fish. Stay pen, baby. <laughs> oh, holy crap. Yeah. Okay. Uh, don't touch your drag, because every time I touch my drag, I seem to lose them. Feels like a decent fish. Unless I'm hooked on the side of his face or something. Where are ya? I need to get this net ready. Yeah, he's on the side of the face. Yep. Oh, that's a good fish. That's a, not a long fish, but yeah, I'm okay with that. 
Holy, he friggin'. Okay, that is a better fish. Good fish? Yeah, 30. That's an awesome fish. <laughs> you go. That thing had some shoulders. Man. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. Oh, yeah. Holy. So that was right on bottom. You picked it right up off. Probably. Man, these fish are so powerful. Look at this rod bend. I shouldn't be doing this because it can just snap depending, but. Oh yeah, this is another heavy fish. Look at those head shakes. <laughs> On bottom, again, just sitting there. Holy. Okay. I have no control over this fish. And my drag is not loose. Holy crap. Oh, I just felt something release. What the heck was that? Okay, this thing's got to be... Oh, he's wrapping himself up in the... Oh, crap. So this might not be a big fish. It might just be him wrapped up in the uh, braided line. Yeah, there's got... This can't be... Now he's coming up. Either he's foul hooked or he's just wrapped up. Sixty one feet moved off that spot a little bit, but there was like <laughs> Six or seven fish that we could see. If I would have scanned with the live scope, we would have been able to see more, but. Oof. Holy. Yeah, that almost ripped the rod out of my hand. All right, okay, now he's coming up like a light fish. Small, oh no, there he is. Oh, here he comes. I'm letting his bubbles out. Holy! Holy! Oh! Okay, that's a good fish. <laughs> oh my gosh. He wanted it hard. Okay. I gotta watch that net. Look at this. 
where's the barbless hook, okay? I just pinched the barb. There's no bait, there's nothing. It's just, it's artificial only. Artificial only, no bait allowed. Uh, so long story short, sometime between the 80s and 90s, the average fish you'd catch out here would be 20, uh, 25 pounds or so, 30 pounds, average. Uh, so if you have like a 10 fish day, you're probably bound to catch five 25 pound fish. So, but since then the lake trout uh, population is depleted for some odd reason. Uh, Ministry of Natural Resource, I don't know if they really have an idea yet. Um, so a lot of these fish are stocked, clip fins. But man, this is a good fish. Okay, let's get her. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Oh. Oh, I can't even hold him. Oh. Oh. That's a good fish. That is a good fish. <laughs> 36 and a half. <laughs> That's a good fish. Unbelievable. Serious. What an upgrade. What a freaking upgrade. Oh. <sighs> Holy crap. Need some water after that one. So just uh, over to my right here, there's uh, a little inlet channel uh, that connects with Suffolk Lake Road. Well, not really, there's a lodge called Black Bear Lodge. There's the fish, uh, Black Bear Lodge. And um, a lot of the shiners, and then, well, Black Bear Lodge and then a little bit further east. Yep, there's, a, there's fish right there is uh, Parker's Creek. Oh, come on. So Parker's Creek, the Shiners run. And uh, right now the Shiners are coming back out of the shallows in the creek. And uh, the lake trout are here in shallow feeding. Uh, 54, 50 feet water. Like this is unreal. There's one chasing it. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh my gosh. Holy. He hit it and I saw him. He was just twirling around. I knew he was going to smack it again. Oh yeah, this guy's small. Oh, he's long. Oh yeah, he wanted that. Stay pinned, come on. Oh, those head shakes. Silly. I got a 20 pound uh, floral eater on. Yeah, that's a decent fish. Decent fish, nothing crazy. Oh man, he wanted that thing again. Nice trout. Let's see. Some 
banked on him. Yeah, 27. Another clip fin right there. Beauty trout. Okay, next. Just gonna drop it down where I am. All these fish have just devoured that friggin' tube. Three fish on bottom. Oh, come on. I just had two of them just come up and swipe. Yeah. Come on. Get pin, 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 pin. There we go. Oh, he's off. Ah, that's all right. Anyways. So finicky, kind of. A little bit. Oh, goodness. Oh, he's already here. Oh, man. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's already out. Oh, man, that was not that big of a fish, but still good. What is this? My fourth? Yep, I got you, baby. Good chunker. Yeah, another clip fin. Length. 27 and a half. Beautiful. <clears throat> that water's still chilly. Water is still chilly. I'm gonna drop again. Still some fish down there. Oh, come on. Yep. Not uh, big, but hmm. I can see him empty. Okay. I can see him emptying his air bladder. Okay, so I said it wasn't a good fish, but I might. Might be wrong. I don't think it's going to beat that 36, though. I love these fish. I love lake trout fishing. He's 20 feet below and there's a fish right behind him, just cruising behind him. That's so neat, kind of like a bass. Here's all the bubbles. Oh, that's a good fish. Yeah, right in the freaking face again. Yep. These are cookie. Oh, out. Out. No way. I got you. Oh, that's a good fish, too. Nice fish. A little bit of sea lice on them. But not too bad. Length 30. 30 inch Laker. Holy crap. 
Oh my gosh. That guy came 40 feet away and he just bolted right across my freaking screen. This guy's not very big. Well, he's pretty scrappy. Ah, yes, this is sick. Again, I'm the only only boat out here. I've had two boats pass me. There was a boat on the other side of the island here. I don't know. They were in pretty shallow. It looked like they were maybe fishing for walleye. Yeah, this feels like another decent fish. He's got so much spunk. Whoa. Oh no. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Man. Unreal. Unreal. I don't even know. I don't know what fish this is. Another nice laker, clip fin, 29. Oh my gosh, come on. He took it off bottom. Holy crap. Oh, come on again. Yeah, he's coming at me. Two of them. Oh, I gotta tighten my drag. Freaking hot. Humid. Okay. <laughs> I was just trying to get into position and I got a trout. Oh yeah, baby. Not a big one. is already getting sore.
There's like four or five trout down there. He, I just saw him dive to the bottom. And there's like, they're just scattering all around them, like smallmouth bass do. I wonder if uh, once the, when the Lakers take off, I wonder if it triggers the other lake trout to uh, come in and check what's out. Cause you know, if you're a fish and say there's a ball of bait and you're taking off for that ball of bait, I mean, I would follow too. So when he's taking off cause he's hooked, those fish are probably following him to see what's going on. Craziness. Man. Again, drag's pretty tight, but I can't keep it. I can't keep it too tight. It just seems like a. Yeah, okay, this is a. This guy's staying down. This guy feels good. And of course, the net's on the wrong side. Trying to beat the 40, the 40 inch mark. <laughs> awesome. So awesome. Ugh, just sweating. It's pretty warm. <laughs> Oh, he's staying. He's staying down there. I haven't seen bubbles yet. Oh. I find with barbless, like... Keep tension on them, but you don't have to, you don't gotta reef them up. You just, you just gotta keep that constant tension to keep it hooked in that mouth. Cause when they do those head shakes, if there's any slack in the line, it's gonna throw it, no problem. Okay, tighten that drag down a little bit. I think he's done. Although I probably might be speaking too soon. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. Just by the weight of it. Unless he's, again, unless he's hooked foul. I just don't want to, I'm loosening the drag off just a tad. And there's still fish on the screen. I've, I've, this is my first spot. Yeah, that's a decent fish. Just spoiled today. Are we done yet? Oh, wow. Big bubbles over to the right of me here. Where are you? Where are you? I might take off again. There's the bubbles. Yep, he's taking off again. There's the swivel. That's an other good fish. What? Oh, he just chomped the whole Tube. Oh, we're right in the water. I don't think this is more than 36. 
but I'll be pushing. Yeah, that's a good fish. There's the swivel. You are battered. It's another good fish. What? Holy. What the heck, man? And he's tagged, too. Yo. Okay, one, two, three. Oh! That's another good fish! <laughs> Length? 34 and a half. You can see that tag. Right there. Okay, boy, you're going down. Cool. <laughs> oh, man. Good fish. The old tale of, uh, don't bring bananas on boats. It's bad luck, supposedly. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. What have, what have I caught? Five or six trout? So, cheers to that myth. Just got my... Just got a dead, dead weight on the bottom. Here he comes. Three of them on the screen. Really? Here comes a fish. Yep. Oh, he's off. Oh, come on. So my camera overheated. Um, but I got another trout on here. I'm gonna try and just set this camera up. Up here. This guy is taking me for a couple runs here. Doesn't seem too big, but said that before. Get out from under that boat. Yeah, it's another good fish. That's a beauty. Nice length. 31 and a half. Nice fish. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, so I think I got the technique down a little bit better now for at least today. Drop on bottom, start trolling forward just a bit so it's rise, it rises off bottom. And that's usually where they'll come up and they'll just skim right on bottom and snap it. Because I'm not getting as many follows. Yep. Again, this Fenwick. Ooh, get away from that bottom of the boat. Um. This Fenwick's putting on another 
clinic here. All of these fish are, are pretty good. Like, uh, can't keep any, but uh, you know, my smallest fish is 28. Biggest so far today is 36, 36 and a half. This guy's definitely not more than 36. He's freaking pulling. Oh man. Rod's just buckling. This is probably another mid 30, low 30s maybe. Fifty-five feet of water, I think he came out of. Yeah, this guy feels a bit heavy. There's bubbles. can't get this guy. Come on. Oh. Okay, let let the drag off just a bit here. This is wicked. Uh this rod does not have ceramic um eyelets. If it did, this braided line, I think this is 15 pounds braid. Um would be just chewing right through that ceramic. On my St. Croix, my walleye rod, I got braid and ceramic eyelets, but they're holding up pretty good because it's just my walleye bass, or not even bass actually, just walleye really, and panfish and stuff like that, just a light tip rod. But this one, this is my heavier, not heavy, but it's a medium, Fenwick Eagle GT. It's like only a $90 rod. But, got it from Richard Maxwell at Chikuni Outdoor Supply. And uh, I just have a Abu Garcia Sierra 20 Revo S, whatever that is. Okay, yeah, this is a decent fish. Either he's wrapped, again, foul hooked, or it's just a good fish. I don't know. Of course, I can hardly see because the sun reflections in my radon reflecting off the water into my eyes. Guess I could do this. <coughs> That'd be smart. And I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it's a bit smoky. It's cleared up today. The wind must have changed, but okay. Got a couple fuck. Yeah, okay. This is a this is a good fish. Got a couple forest fires from uh, some lightning storms. Just still going. I don't know if I've gained, he's back down 50 feet. Holy. Oh. I gotta just play him. My drag's tight, but then I, when he runs, I got to loosen it off. Uh, we got a couple forest fires in Woodland Caribou. I think the MNRs probably put them out by now. Or just they're letting them burn. But it was quite smoky this morning and last night. 
I actually got in quite late, probably around 2 a.m., and it was still pretty hazy and smoky. But uh, it's cleared up pretty good. Gosh. Are you coming? Okay, yeah, this is a good fish. Man. I got no one out here. I got two seagulls just chilling. I've had multiple boats pass me, you know, big wave. No, you know, guys, a couple, a couple guys cruising around, scouting some spots, but here I am. Oh, goodness. Yeah. Red Lake, Ontario. And I mean, there's places where these things get just giant, like 50 inches. Like up, uh, like none of it and... Baker's Lake. Yeah, this guy's gonna be, here he comes. Holy crap. He's still 50 feet down. Okay. And this is the thing, I was gonna fish walleye and pike today. I'll probably still fish pike. Walleye hit or miss. We'll see, it's pretty calm. I like to fish walleye when there's a little bit of chop and wind walleye chop as they call it but lakers seem to bite no matter what the weather so just gre just pigs just greasers yeah that's another good fish i don't know if that's the same That's the same fish. What? No. Oh, come on. Yeah, that's a good fish. Holy. Oh, that's a hog. Another good fish. Okay, let's get your length here. 35 and a half. Really good fish. Hog. Awesome fish. I've been spoiled today. Absolutely spoiled. Got another one. I uh, released that, that second tagged fish I just caught. This guy's not very big. And uh, just repositioned uh, back into 50 feet of water, 53 actually. Oops. I thought I turned it on, but I didn't. This guy's another like 30, maybe 30 inch. So I got that one. And then that, another good fish. That's a beauty. Yeah, 30. Another 30. Yeah, that sucked. Um, I turned it on. I kind of horsed him up. And uh, the video cut off. He did like a, a solid 60 second run. But yeah, that was... Again, just spoiled today. 
just uh yeah dead calm as you can see let's keep her going um <laughs> camera fell off the tripod got another fish here gonna try and just set this up here This guy's not big. Three feet of water. A little bit of a wind now. Holy man. It's coming up. Once he sees the boat and the net, he's going to take off again. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. I think every fish I've got today is a good fish. But hey, just happy to be out. Oh yeah, oh that's another tagged fish. Yeah, he wanted that again. It was right down his throat, but just... It's funny, I could have stuck my hand in his head. His, his mouth is just giant, but... I'd rather not stick my hand in a trout's mouth. All right, let's see what the length is on this guy. Another good fish. Oh, he's a little bit of blood there, but he's all right. 33 and a half. Good fish. Cool. I don't know. I think I'm just going to keep trout fishing. Like, come on. Okay. Got another one here. Holy. Beautiful. Yeah, this guy's staying down. Again, said I was gonna do walleye fishing today and pike, but here I am, still trout fishing. It's coming up now. Oh my gosh. Just gonna let him have a drink. Nice. Here's another one. Length, 29. <laughs> Wicked. <sighs> yeah, just another trout.
Okay. You let go. All right. Well, that sucked.